Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts on two Theodoro Scalotinis fragrances that I purchased during my last haul from the month of March. So if you guys already watched my other videos, you guys know that I purchased my very first Theodoro Scalotinis fragrance and that was Coffee Addict. So that fragrance is a beautiful coffee fragrance. It is sweet. It is really like a very realistic sweet coffee scent. So I do have a separate review on that. So I'm gonna put the link down below in the description box. I'm gonna put a card up above as well. So that one was my first fragrance from the house. And after that experience, I was super excited to try other fragrances as well. They are based in Greece, but they ship all over the world. So I was so happy that one, they ship to Iceland. Number two, they have regular sales. So every now and then, some of their fragrances go on sale. So when I purchased Coffee Addict, I purchased it for only 29 euros. I think the original price is 57 euros i'm not so sure so i got it for almost half the price and for these two fragrances that i'm going to be featuring for today's video i also purchased them when the website had a sale so i got gardenia and i also got plumeria so i chose two floral fragrances because i just wanted to prepare for the summertime i do have quite a number of fall and winter fragrances those cozy you know resinous fragrances tobacco and all of that but they don't really have a great number of white floral fragrances so when i tried coffee added and i love how you know i kind of understood like how the house works in a way so it's very straight to the point but you know it plays you with different notes in there so the first one is plumeria so by the way this is how the bottles look like this looks different than the coffee added bottle so it's very simple just the name there very simple bottle and the sprayer looks like this. So I love, you know, bottle-wise, you know, design-wise, aesthetic. I really love it. I prefer like simple bottles because they're easier to store and they're just they just make everything clean, not a lot of visual clutter. So in terms of the notes, this one has your bergamot on top, your frangipani or your plumeria in the middle, and your sandalwood in the base. So when you look at the notes, it's very simple. I think that's why I love the house so and much. I do have Ernesta to thank for that because had it not been for her um, coffee addict video, I would not have discovered um, this house. Maybe I've heard of the house before, but I did not really consider like going into it because hearing that it's a, like a niche or like an indie house, you know, I immediately think, you know, it's expensive. But this one is a very, very affordable house. So anyway, Plumeria. This has those three notes, your bergamot, your Plumeria or your frangipani and your sandalwood. So scent-wise, when you smell it from the nozzle it is a very like powdery waxy citrusy floral when you first spray it you get the plumeria but it has that um, bergamot on top so it adds a little bit of citrus bergamot can also be a little bit bitter and it just blends perfectly with the scent profile of your frangipani because frangipani as i said it can be waxy it can be citrusy it can also have that slightly bitter tinge to it which just blends perfectly with the bergamot as your top note. And as this one dries down, you get that sandalwood. But I do have to say that when you first spray this, you're gonna be like, oh, it smells like frangipani. And you're gonna expect more. But that's just how the house is. It is a very simplistic interpretation of, for example, the frangipani or the plumeria flower. But what i really love about this fragrance it's it's very yes it's simple it's straight to the point this one just is a very transportive fragrance is that a word like when you smell it you just go places this one is just perfect for summer it is spring right now here but it's a bit cooler so i get most of the like powdery waxy um quality to the plumeria and that very prominent sandalwood in the base because it's cooler but i know when summer comes when it gets warmer i get more of that beauty of the plumeria it can smell very you know like detergent like or like cleaner or fabric softener because those household items they use for example scents that are based on for example flowers and fruits and all of that that's why because we smell them all the time when we smell a perfume that smell similar to that we smell that in a perfume we kind of like um relate them together that when you smell this this will remind you of for example like a shower gel or a, like a bar soap or like 
detergent, as I said, because it just has the plumeria scent. Plumeria, that very strong frangipani note, stays quite a while. And as this one dries down, as this one like develops and melts into your skin, it becomes like a toned down frangipani together with the sandalwood. So it is not as strong, it is not as like citrusy floral, it is not like too much of the frangipani because it just develops. So I can just imagine wearing this one to the Philippines for example, or like when you go on like a beach vacation. So this is not your typical tropical scent it doesn't have that coconut it doesn't have that salt it doesn't have any of that it just smells like being under a plumeria tree and all those flowers like falling down it's just a beautiful fragrance when i smelled this and these two actually when i smelled them i was like yeah these are gonna be like my work fragrances these are like my everyday fragrances these are fragrances that i know i can wear for example like when i travel but this is a 15 ml, so I can't bring the bottle with me. So this is like going to be my travel fragrance. I can already imagine going to, traveling to different places and using these fragrances so I can have that scent memory tied to it. In terms of longevity, this is a moderate lasting fragrance. So it is between that 6 to 8 hour mark. And this is something that if you sweat a lot, if you move a lot, if you use this as, for example, your, like, your outdoor scent or your like vacation scent, you are gonna need to respray like in the middle of the day just to you know experience that whole plumeria scent. But a performance of six to eight hours is really, really very good, especially for such a clear, clean fragrance like this one with only those three notes. In terms of projection, this can go beyond arm's length for the first 30 minutes and then it becomes closer to the skin. So this is more like a skin scent kind of a fragrance as you wear it. It is not the kind of fragrance though that you don't smell it on yourself like as you wear it. You do smell it but it stays closer to the skin. It is a very intimate scent and it's just beautiful. If you are into florals, very clean and clear florals, straight to the point, this is a great addition to your perfume collection. So this, I would imagine, just like with Coffee Addict, will be a good layering fragrance. If you have other fragrances that you just want to amp up a little bit of the frangipani, or if you have fragrances that need some tropical oomph to it, then you can layer it with Plumeria. But as I you know, already told you guys, I'm not really into layering fragrances, so I'm going to be enjoying this one as it is and it is great as it is so this is plumeria the next one is gardenia so this has a black label compared to plumeria i don't really know honestly if there is a difference between like the different shape of the bottle or the different labels but this is how the bottle looks like very similar design so this one is gardenia and it's supposed to smell like gardenia this is your powdery vanilla floral scent so this smells like a floral vanilla powdered sugar so that's how i can describe this but i know you guys are going to be thinking like oh my god it's super sweet i can imagine how it is it is not like orchidy vanille for example because that one is like a sweet as i mentioned like a um, powdered sugar that has vanilla flavoring this one has some florals in there so for the top notes this one has your powdery notes in the middle this one has your jasmine and your gardenia in the base this one has your vanilla I looked at the notes honestly i was like this is going to be a very light fragrance and it's going to be very fleeting because it doesn't have any like strong base to it it doesn't have any woods or anything but it has that vanilla so i was just hoping that the vanilla will be strong enough to hold the scent so this one if i can choose a favorite out of the two i prefer this one because this is like a shyer floral compared to plumeria so this one is like out there it's loud it just makes its presence known so it is like immediately like frangipani citrus and this one is like a shyer version because it's a more powdery version. So when you smell it, for the first time, you get all that powdery notes in there. So it almost smells like baby powder, but it doesn't really smell like baby powder because it has those florals. So you get the gardenia and the jasmine. So those two blend perfectly together. It is like a strong, heady floral, but in this scent, that powdery notes on top just keep them very mellow. So it is not a heady or like an indolic white floral. It is not even a very waxy white floral 
or soapy white floral because it has all those powdery notes. So this one can be overpowering in the entrance because it's too powdery. It's like literally like smelling like loose powder with a powder puff. That's how this one smells like. But as this develops, you get that vanilla. So the vanilla in here really is where all the magic happens. It's not a very sweet vanilla. It is not a very like vanilla bean, like very natural vanilla as well. It is a very soft vanilla. So that powdery notes still very prominent even as this one dries down because as I mentioned, this one smells like your vanilla flavored powdered sugar with some hint of florals. In terms of performance, this is, just like with Plumeria, this is a moderate lasting fragrance. Even though, based on the notes, this can be a light fragrance. You wouldn't expect this one to last long. But this one, surprisingly, lasts a good six hours. Just like with Plumeria, this is something that you're gonna have to respray or reapply in the middle of the day if you want to experience the whole scent, like the whole time as you wear this, because Aside from it being, you know, a moderate lasting fragrance, more on the six hour mark, like short to moderate lasting, this is also a very close scent. So this is a skin scent almost kind of a fragrance. Projection is soft. So it can be too much when you first spray it because of that powdery notes, but it is too much for you, not really for the people around you. So as you spray this, you get a lot of the powdery notes and that florals, and it immediately develops into that vanilla. So it is not really a very strong projecting fragrance. This is skin scent. If this stays closer to the skin, gardenia stays even closer. So this is a true skin scent fragrance because it stays, it just, it's like your second layer of skin. This is what it is. You get out of the shower, you put your moisturizer or your lotion on, and you know, just like before how we did it, you know, we put powder on ourselves. This is how this one smells. Both of these are mellow enough that I can wear them to work. This one though, if I wear this to work, I have to spray myself, you know, like 30 minutes before I leave. So just so all that citrusy plumeria just mellows down a little bit. Because in a very intimate workplace like I have, it can be too much for other people because this one, plumeria, that um, French Japani notes really like penetrates even through your mask. So this one stays closer to the skin. It's a beautiful, as I said, skin scent fragrance. In the dry down, you get that very mellow, powdery vanilla. I just love the interpretation of the florals in these two scents. For these two fragrances, the top notes can give you a little bit of shock, but then it immediately develops into that beautiful scent, and then it remains that way throughout the whole wear. So these are the two Theodoro Scalotinus fragrances that I added to my perfume collection. And I do have to say, I am excited to try other fragrances from the house as well. I do have a number in mind that I want to try from the house as well. Agent C and Salt or Agent and Sea Salt. I, I'm just going to put the name down here. And I also want to try their vanilla fragrance. And there's also one that's... I, I'm, I'm torn between Mentor and 1989. So I have my eyes on those fragrances so if ever the website's gonna have their sale i'm gonna be grabbing those fragrances and that is it for today's video you guys i shared with you my thoughts on these two theodoro scalatini's fragrances that i added to my collection so i'm very happy with these purchases um they are very affordable i bought each of them for 27 dollars or 29 because i did get them on discount so um I love the house, another house that I just want to try more of because I just appreciate how this house like interprets, for example, florals and the notes and how straightforward and simple and just realistic it is. So if you have tried anything from the house, let me know down in the comment section or let me know what you think about Gardenia as a perfume note or Plumeria. What do you think about those two florals in your perfumes? If you have reached this far, thank you so much for watching. If you liked today's video, don't forget to click the like button. Doing so really helps the channel a lot with the visibility. And 
don't forget to consider subscribing to the channel. So if you love anything and everything about perfumes, you've been watching my videos and you haven't really subscribed yet, I do hope you consider subscribing. And when you do subscribe, please click the notification bell because doing so lets you know every time I put up a new content. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for today's video. Have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you in the next